Hey guys, welcome back to Hello Milo. It's been a while. Alright, so uh, last time uh, we left off, we actually beat the game and we had the finale and everything, but uh, they released some new DLC and the DLC is just released today, March 9th, 2011, Autumn Tale. And now this is a brand new story. We've got two new uh, two new chapters, 19 levels, and we also get three new achievements. So I'll just show those off for you really fast. They're really easy. It's just like beat the game and then uh, some more other dumb stuff. Uh, so complete Autumn Tale. Autumn Tale, and then complete all the bonus levels, and then point on all the five floating eggs. <sighs> Again with the cooperativeness, and uh, but that's all the new achievements we got for that. And it kind of sucks, but um, yeah, my sleep schedule has gotten so reversed. Like for some of you who've been watching my other LPs, you'll know that like I usually record like 3:30 in the morning and stuff, and now this is like 5:30 in the morning for me. I'm so tired right now, but. Um, yeah, we're gonna get started on Autumn Tale, and it's a brand new story, uh, well not really, it's kind of more like a continuation, I guess, but, or an expansion, I should say. One autumn evening, when Ilo and Milo were taking a walk, the friends found a trail of maple leaves. They decided to follow it, hoping that it would lead to something new and exciting that they'd never seen before. Oh my god, maple leaves, let's go, let's go follow them. <laughs> As they followed the mysterious trail of maple leaves, they didn't notice that it branched down to two different paths. And the plot thickens. Alright, hold on. Uh, I gotta... Alright, sorry. I had to make sure my mic was recording, because that would have been kind of embarrassing if it didn't. Alright, so now we have two new chapters for the Autumn Tale. Um, and basically, this uh, takes everything we learned from the other four chapters in the original game... And, and they implement them here. So these levels are technically more difficult than the ones on the final level. And I really do like these new levels, except that I still like the last level just a tiny bit more. But this is really awesome, too. Like, I swear to God. So let's get started. Okay, Sebastian. Yes, and you know, with this game, I thought they could have added something else. Like, they could have added new loading screens or something. <laughs> ah, whatever. But anyway, um, I've been, like, kind of... I've noticed this game has gotten, like, a lot more attention recently. Let's talk over here. Salutations! Who is this marvelous gentleman with an incredible sense for- Oh, wait a second. It's you! Hello, thumb creature. Long time no see. What have you been up to for so long? My, hasn't time flown by? Look, the trees are turning red like ketchup marmalade and the crunchy autumn fireflies are buzzing about. Ah, yes, it's truly a beautiful time of year. I say, this is a perfect time to enjoy a cup of rowan berry tea in the garden while writing some autumn poems. See you later, thumb creature. Alright, so there's Sebastian. He's like kind of our little dude that kind of guides- Well, not really guides us. He's just there. Um, so yeah, I'll kind of still walk through, kind of, for those people who, d who don't know this. I'm just going to continue on after the finale. I'm not going to make this its own little thing. But basically, we control two people. We have Milo, which is the blue one, and Isla, which is the red one. We have to meet them up to beat the game, or well, to beat the level. And to do that, we're going to have to use cubes, and we're going to have to flip the dimension of the entire level in order to meet the two characters up. And that's how we win. Now, you see the gauge over to the left? That's a memory meter. We get a new memory each time we collect all these things. We have to fill up the meter and then uh, we'll be able to go and get that. Now there are going to be three little creatures we can collect called Sapkas and they're going to be hidden throughout the level. You can see one right over there, the little the little baby thumb creature, right? And that'll be uh, one thing we can grab. So um, we'll grab three of those. And the thing that kind of sucks, they didn't add, to, my, to the extent of my knowledge, they haven't added any new things yet, like uh, no new records or photographs, which is really a shame, but I guess it gives me a chance to, you know, uh, re-show off the other... Uh, Re-show off the old ones that I didn't do before. I thought I said I would, but maybe not. Now we're going to pick up certain cubes. Each one will have special abilities. This, this is the most standard cube. It's just a normal stepping cube. doesn't really do much, but it still helps. And these are quite vital throughout, so just keep that in mind. We're going to want to do all this, and I'm still going to try and collect as many uh, little memory bells as I can. So, so yeah, just basically just that. And we can collect our first Sapka over there. So, yeah. And there's certain uh, memory things we can't grab, like you see over there, I, I walked right past that one. Uh, I can't grab it unless I'm like standing on that area, which kind of sucks, but it makes sense. So, Alright, now that all that's over with, we can go ahead and grab this one, because I don't think Milo can grab that. I was like, yeah, like I said before, this game has been like picking up kind of a lot like recently since it was released in January. And like when I was playing it, I got it back in November slash December, and um, it wasn't really that much paid attention to. And I'm really surprised now that a lot of people are getting into it. It's pretty cool. So uh, this is eventually we're gonna have to meet over, but uh, for the time being, uh, we're gonna have to give uh, one of these to 
uh, one of these to Milo, so let's get him started. I've noticed that a lot of, like, professional reviewers are calling this, like, Elo Milo. Like, God, I kind of feel dumb just because I, I've been saying Ilo Milo. Just, Elo Milo sounds so weird. Like, I don't know. I always saw this story as a perspective from, like, old people, you know? Like, if you saw in the finale, like, kind of what I thought about the ending of the entire game and all the people and stuff like it just seems like kind of weird how that would work like elo milo just it sounds like i don't know i'm still gonna call him ilo milo but i'll kind of maybe joke about elo milo maybe a bit ah damn it okay whoops need that second one that i thought i could just ignore but apparently not and so uh to get a good score on this game basically what we're gonna have to do is complete it in uh as short like as less, uh, how do I word this? <laughs> in as least steps as you can do it, okay? There, okay, you have, the fewer steps you take, the higher in the Leary board you're gonna be at, right? And to beat a level, you do not have to collect all of these, you just have to meet them together. Take the optimal path and meet them together, all right? That just means that uh, if you collect all the Safkas, then it'll be permanently saved like that, so you'll be good, you'll be good to go. So um, after we beat the game, we can just, uh, go back and then try and get a high score but it's not really necessary so uh okay i think we can actually go now if you press okay i'll just go back to the controls again if you press y you'll be able to look at the entire level and if you press x you'll be able to switch between the two characters and when you press a you'll be able to pick up your uh, cubes and stuff so there is that all right. it's been a while since i played this so it's nice to kind of refresh things as we go uh all right there's that. and i think uh okay so Ilo has two now. I'll, I'll go collect those two for the sake of completion. So yeah, um, so yeah, this just came out like literally like, uh, like 40 minutes ago, I guess. I like got it like one o'clock on the dot, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool. Hope you guys will really enjoy this because I really like this game, and the only thing I really have against it again is the camera, but it's not as bad as it's uh, as before. And like I said, they're gonna be. Uh, things from the other level that are going to be other earlier chapters like the light cube and stuff but now we can finally meet okay we have the three safkas and i think we got pretty much everything so let's just go ahead and meet up and yay we got a happy jig Woo! awesome very cool 394 <laughs> yeah i'm the best in the world you guys this this is a a record breaking development i don't know i bet like, 90% of the people won't even know this is out because it's Wednesday, and technically the marketplace usually uh, up updates on uh, on Tuesdays, so, which was yesterday, and which explains why I'm so tired. But anyway, now we can... Um, we, uh, oh, God, I had some weird slime in my throat. Um, when you complete a level, you'll be able to uh, unlock the ones around it, so I could get the one to the right, up, and down if I do gramophone jam, but I'm going to do three levels per video, which will probably extend this uh, this Let's Play by about six or seven videos, depending on how I want to do the ending and how long the bonus levels are, but but uh, we'll see. I'll just do three for the time being, so let's do uh, Leaf Pillow, I think. Mm-hmm. God, coffee is so amazing. God, I just feel awake all of a sudden. <clears throat> Alright, this one's actually a pretty cool level now. We're gonna... It, uh, this is... A, this Actually, this first part is quite a collect-a-thon, I must say. Oh, wait, this isn't the one. Never mind. This one isn't a collect-a-thon yet. Oh, wait, this one is... Oh, my... No! Oh, crap. Okay, so over there you're gonna see a monster. Okay, I'll just talk about them while I collect all this stuff. You're gonna see the monster. You see that cube walking... Uh, let me... All right, let's switch to Ilo. All right, you see that cube walking elephant monster thing. Uh, what he basically serves as is like a moving platform, so we can step on him uh, from a higher platform, which is work, which is what we're gonna do with Milo. But with Ilo, while we're like on the same level as it, we can uh, kind of guide it in a different direction. And if it's like coming towards us and we're blocking its path, it will always turn left, and it's really useful. And he'll eat those uh, watermelon things, which is really good because those usually block our paths, and you know that's how that basically goes. But okay, now I'm gonna switch back over to Milo or Milo. <laughs> Just I don't know. I'm gonna call it Milo. That'll be my own little special thing. You guys all know it's me if you call it Milo. But uh, all right. So, now we can collect all these things. God, my voice is like really weird right now. So I apologize for the commentary. And it's really late too, like uh, like super late. Like I stayed up so late last night doing Rock Band and the Tarko DLC. Like I, uh, 
God, I should not be allowed to do anything while I'm half asleep. I got like half the song titles wrong and I like, I did some, I like wrote up descriptions like I usually do for my videos and I just, I don't even remember writing them. Like, I don't know what happened. And then, so there's Saf number two, I guess. And all right, now, oh, no, 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 good, okay, good, we're on. Okay, now what we're gonna wanna do, oh crap, no, 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 ah. Oh. Okay, so you see that sock creature. Oh no, you gotta be joking me. Okay, take, Okay, that sock creature, if you try to... Okay, you can tell you have a cube if you have a backpack on, alright? That's if you have a cube. Um, if you try and go past this sock puppet, uh, he'll eat it and throw it back at... Like, throw it out. So you can't take any cubes past this dude, alright? So, we'll have to drop that there. We need Milo to grab it. Now we're gonna do this whole thing. Now we're gonna have to step on the off this platform. And now we need Ilo to go ahead and grab that over there. So, which kind of sucks because... We have to actually do kind of a lot of bit, of, a lot of bit, a lot of waiting. Oh, 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 we can do it. Oh no no. Ah, yes, okay, I made it. Yes, I abused it. And now we have to. Now we need crap. Okay. Okay. This is kind of a weird part. Now we need to get Ilo on the other side of him so we can put the cube on the ground. All right. And then uh, Milo can go ahead and grab this dark cube, which will uh, light uh, those little circle cubes that are floating off in the distance it'll light those up so that's pretty good oh, 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 okay there you go right. and i don't think we need that for the rest of this part so that's good now we just need milo to go all the way back to the very beginning of the level uh crap but okay the sack okay and it's pretty easy so all right so now we're done with that now we need ilo to head over here all right, now you see these little uh, these little square things. These basically will tell you, hey, put a cube on me. So what we're gonna wanna do, we're gonna put this light cube on. And now it has a sp specific radius of light that it'll emit. And when it hits those small cubes, it'll leave a path that uh, Ilo can walk over. And the cool thing about this is if you're standing on one of these pieces of light and you take it off, that light that she's standing on is still gonna be in effect. So that's pretty good. So now we're gonna wanna stand over at this end. Whoa, did they add footprints to that? That's awesome wow oh no that's just like <laughs> i don't know but anyway <clears throat> okay i'll we'll put that one over here and now just head over to the left pick that back up and head over here now we have ah, we have one last one right over here so put that there and now she can get connected to us while grabbing this sack yes there goes milo doing all the work again and also uh so yeah, the red one is Ilo, which is a uh, female, and then the blue one is Milo, which is the male. So the alpha male, I might add. And yay, we do a happy jig. Woo. And we did it in 310 steps. We're the best in the community, you guys. God, I don't know how much I'm going to record tonight. I've only played up to five levels so far on alt account, as usual, but, you know. <laughs> God. All right, so 310 cubes. Leaderboards, let's see. <laughs> I'm the only one on the leaderboards, you guys. You have to buy this. Uh, that's Oh, that's my friend's leaderboard. What am I talking about? Um, Wait. Over. Oh, I still am the first. Well, you know what? There is uh, video proof right here of how much of a dedicated Elo Milo fan I am. That was like a weird Dr. Seuss thing. All right, flying bed. This one is actually has a really, a really cool, a really cool view of the ceiling, which is just like amazing. Like, I don't know. The background isn't really as good as some of the other levels. Like, it just, I don't know. I kind of like the other ones a bit better. But there, you can see kind of more of the sock puppets and stuff in the back. And now we're not going to be able to do much with Milo at first. So let's just head around over here. And then uh, we're gonna be stranded here actually until my or Ilo can save us. So let's go ahead and get to work with her now. This is a cube over here. If you forgot about this, this is a trap cube. Uh, what you do, you step on it, and you'll be able to go to the direct underside of the cube you're on, or to that different level. So it'll flip you like 180 degrees, I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, if you're on like a single platform of uh, cubes, like they're not stacked on top of each other, you'll be able to access right beneath you. So these are really quite handy. So, alright, so there's that. Now we're going to need to pick this up, and Isla's actually going to be doing quite a bit of work over here for us. So, okay, now I head over here, and then uh, this is basically just a crap. Wait a second. Uh, did I mess up already? Ah, uh, God. Okay. Now, what do I have to do? What do I have to do? <laughs> 
crap. Uh, oh. Oh, okay, I, okay, I get it. Okay, this is just like uh, the Atlantic world, or the Atlantic, the aquatic world, where I got stuck on that same puzzle. Just put it right over here. Now, you see that cube over there? That's the extender cube, or whatever they decided to call it. Now, this is a very suggestive cube. Whenever you put it into thin air in front of you like this, there's no cubes like around it. It'll extend three places out forward. If you're gonna, if you put it on a just normal cube, it'll go up three places, and you can do it like you can put it into in between spaces. Like you can put it right there, and it still works. So it's really pretty handy. So this is gonna, this is probably one of your most useful cubes. But all the other ones prove their usefulness over the course of the game, also. So keep that in mind. Like there's no ultimate cube, I guess, because they all have their weaknesses and whatnot. So all right. So basically, uh, that little black thing over there that's gonna take a, a cube over here that's gonna let us be able to reunite with our dear love Milo but first thing we have to do we have to give these things to him so I want to get those things really fast so let me just a second what we have to do actually we can just grab them from right over here and then okay. this is like completely unnecessary too you do not have to grab all of them you can go back from a level and just keep on uh, collecting them through there like you can keep on going back and forth and still collect them like back and forth so just don't worry about that at all I'm just collecting them all just for the sake of completioning things so okay I'll see. and there's the bed that has like shoes on the bottom of it this level is this these god I love the music in this game I haven't said that yet in this episode which I'm kind of surprised at but this ah, god I I can't tell if this was already in the game it's been like three months since we've done this so okay so now what we have to do we have to go ahead and uh, take the connector cube and put it way over there and now since we're on this side of the uh, cube we can't quite collect them just yet or can't do that but what we're going to want to do is grab this and now that we have that we get a freaking awesome view of the ceiling god look at that it just looks like it just is like infinite like we're not even in a room like it's like an optical illusion I don't know uh. I'm just tired right now. It's like, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to step on this, and it's going to move that cube out of the way. Now we can finally connect with each other. So, yes, let's get out of here. Um, pick this back up, and then head down here and just basically just put it back, and now we can walk across because there's the cube that was blocking our way. And now leave that there. And then what you're going to want to... Uh, crap. Wait a second. Wait... Okay, we need to grab that last Safka, but I kind of forgot how. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Actually, yeah, we need to pick that back up and grab this, put that right there just for safekeeping. Put it right there. Alright, we're gonna head over here. Alright, now, now we can meet up with her, actually, so. Uh, the level automatically ends when we get to them, also, if you can already tell, but uh, just. We can keep on doing whatever we want until we decide to meet up with them now yay last time milo actually does something gasp so anyway yes the, and that is the first three levels of uh the autumn tale for you so there's that god i free i love their little reunion thing and yes i'm still first place on the leaderboard you guys oh my god oh what i missed one what no oh no i missed one wait which one did i miss you're kidding me, right? What? Ah, uh, hold on. Okay, I swear to God, I got all of them. Where? Ah, uh, I can't believe. It. Oh, I missed this entire back area. Okay, I completely forgot about that because I was so, I was so like uh, happy about the uh, uh, the ceiling. Okay, I'll just get back to the point where Ilo brings back all this stuff over here. Okay, so hold on just a second. Okay, here I'm back again. Um crap okay now we want to take the trap cube right or i guess if we really wanted to we can actually take the big one but um so if you already collected a sav kit i'll have like a little you know a little cool hat on it uh showing you already grabbed it but i completely forgot about this side area and i it's like kind of pointless but it's not really it just has our last safka right over here i completely forgot about that i apologize she was my my remembering skills considering I just played this prior to recording on an alt account like I usually always say but um so yeah that's basically it for this video I mean we went ahead and started the first three levels it's already kind of a longish video but it's not too bad um 
we'll definitely continue on the next one. Uh, I'll try and record as much as I can tonight. If not, then whatever. I'll just do it a different time. Maybe be slightly more energetic. Blah, 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 blah. But anyway, uh, where are you? Where are you, my darling? I want to see how much I got on this. Because I didn't collect all the things, of course. But And also, our Slavka count is... Uh, it's good, so yay, 163. Awesome. So, alright, so see, we got stars. If you, you get a heart if you don't collect everything, but anyway. Oh, I guess there are records here. I completely forgot about this. Okay, awesome. Oh, I'm excited now, alright. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep playing in the next episode, so I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I'll talk to you guys later.